We are back with some more MoCo action and we are going to be getting mounts in this video. Oh my goodness. All right, so queuing up in raids. Basically, there are different raids. Each raids have different rewards and you can queue up with a group of three other people to complete raids. Again, this is the developer build, so we're going to be showcasing everything uh, with that. This is the first time I am doing this mission. Um, so let's see what we are able to, or this raid. So I honestly don't know if I'll even be able to take this one down. Um, we'll have to find out. Let's see. I mean, the, the raids, uh, the game has been, uh, not like super complex thus far. Um, but there is definitely a layer of skill and it's all all interesting to see and also like finding different things on different maps like uh on the shrine where the uh shrine dancers are when you unlock a new world finding where all the chests are so that way you can get um those emeralds and everything like that so Ooh, we have a jumper coming out here. Let's see if we can take this down. Oh, man. I, I've also been trying to, like, grind and level up as much as possible because, I mean, of course, in an MMO, you need to have, like, the best gear, the best levels, and everything like that. So, uh, definitely gear hunting and leveling up is uh, kind of the MO. <laughs> Um, oh, boomers. Oh, these things explode when they die. Okay, that's good to note. Oh, let me actually help shoot. I think we healed right there. Let's get the jumper rolling through with our smart fireworks. Oh, we got more boomers over here. Sounds so funny. We got some boomers over here. Nice. Alright, so they got taken down. Are there more? Oh yeah, there's more stuff right here. We even got jumpers here. Oh! I don't know how much damage those boomers exactly do, and I'm not sure I want to find out, honestly. Uh, Alright, let's keep rolling. I think the boss is going to be over here. Yep, it's a berserker. Ooh. This is going to be interesting. Oh, we got some chargers. Oh man, I gotta heal up a little bit here. Let's see, oh my good, oh my god! What? That thing just destroyed me! Oh my goodness! Holy! All right, let's try to get as much damage as we possibly can here. If we don't take this thing down quickly, it is gonna start to get angry and uh. I don't think that's going to bode well for me. Oh, all right, let's get some more healing. All right, we got some grunts down over here. Oh, that thing just one-shot me. Oh my goodness, why am I getting tossed around like a ball? I don't, like, oh my goodness. I'm just getting one-shot by this berserker, holy. All right, let's increase our attack speed and we take it down. Oh my goodness. Wow, that one was hard. Hard. Okay, we did get our mount, um, which is great. So, oh my goodness, jeez, that one was difficult. All right, we got the turbo chicken. Move 50% faster when riding. Don't use your weapon or get or active gadgets for a few seconds to hop on. Okay, so basically you just stand still, uh, and you'll get put on it. Nice. Uh, looks like we'll be able to upgrade. Oh, massive stat increase at level 16. Ooh, that's what we like to see. Okay. All right, let's head over here and let's equip our mount. Nice. And let's also equip it on our other build. Perfect. Ooh, this one has loot drops doubled. Ooh, this will be good. Yes, always a key note when uh, you guys have access to the game, always look out for those events with the like multipliers and everything because getting those will be super helpful in terms of uh, upgrading your gear and everything like that. So definitely be on the lookouts for those loot doubler events uh, when you can. Because again, those will be insanely helpful if you are able to. 
We don't we don't have to take down one of these knights, but they give uh they give some good equipment. And again, it's a uh, we have the uh, loot doubler active right now, so this is gonna be super important to get. Definitely need these uh, little spitters and everything like that. Oh my goodness, so much value from these. And the good thing is, in these uh, forests, a lot a lot of the uh, materials that I need right now to upgrade things are from the forest, so that's like super helpful. Ooh, let's take a scavenger down. Oh, come on. Nice. All right, let's get those spitters. All right, spitters are done. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, a scavenger. Nice. Oh, let's get some value right there. Ooh, an alarm bell. That'll draw some attention uh, for us, which is great. We don't need it, but it could draw some things to us. And again, we definitely need as many resources from this area as we get. Oh, here's the executioner. Beautiful. That's what we were hoping for. Just let it all draw it in. All right, let's get this taken down. All right. Yes. All right, lots of... Ooh, wait, scavenger up here. Yes. Come back here, scavenger. Boom. Beautiful. All right. Um, oh man, on it. This is a difficult. I have a difficult decision right now, um, because we do have the uh, Monster Palooza, which means we're going to be getting a lot of extra, a uh, lot of extra rewards here, and extra drops for a limited time. And I feel like I should be capitalizing on this. So I think what I'll probably do is continue to farm this out. Uh, and the, oh, wait, where was that reboot? Where was that reboot? Yes. Keep it back. Come here. Yes. And we're about to get a bunch of cubes. Oh my goodness, that was so valuable. So if you ever see those things, those are like Moco equipment. Um, and you definitely want to get those done. Uh, because you will get some really good rewards like cubes, um, which is like the currency, like the premium currency of the game. So definitely good to have those like on hand and we are just getting so much value from this. All right. Uh, so I'm just going to keep farming this any, and then, uh, once, once we're done with it, we're probably actually going to level up here. Once we get XP, so I'll be able to capture that. And then I'll also want to do like a recap of all of the resources that we got from this like monster palooza, double the loot type of event. Oh, we got an executioner back here. Oh, baby. Okay, this is like a 1v1 executioner knight scavenger fight. Hold on. Definitely got to get the scavenger taken down. All right, let's see if I can get some good value from this. All right, now we, we have some people rolling in here, which is going to be very helpful. Oh, nice. We just hit level 13. All right. Nice. Scavenger goes down. Oh, there it is. Look at all that XP. Oh, this is beautiful. All right, we're going to get so much value from this... Uh, from this cave run. All right, so we just finished the double timer. So let's actually head back and see exactly how many resources we got. We definitely leveled up. Oh my goodness, we got 225 of the axes. Those are only obtainable from the executioner bosses, which is an insane amount. And we got like 9,000 of the beetle shells, which is like a super common, uh, Super common item from the forest and oh my goodness all right so we got um two extra quests um we did unlock the summoning grounds because we did hit level 13 um let's go over here and see what we can upgrade oh my goodness i bet we can probably upgrade a lot of stuff we can get our wolf stick which uh is the one that summons in the pet we can get our medicine ball up to level four i believe and we can get it up to level five so I think all of our equipment is maxed out for right now. Yes, all of our weapons are maxed out for now. We have uh, our two of our active gadgets, the water balloon and the smart firework maxed out. We're about to have the monster taser maxed out. Yep, we have that maxed out. Let's upgrade our turbo pills. Are we going to be up, up? Yep, we upgrade the turbo pills again. Okay, now we have our turbo pills maxed out. So now everything's maxed out in terms of our active gadgets. At level 17 and then we have passive we need these from the uh overgrown runes and i think we need these Ooh, we need these from the spirit caverns uh and this in shrine canyon so we've almost pretty much maxed out like all of our thing we've maxed out the active 
we've maxed out the active gadgets, we've maxed out the weapons, and now we're on par to maxing out all of our passive gadgets as well. We just need these from the Overgrown Ruins uh, and these from Shrine Canyon. So a uh, little bit more to work on those, but we do have those projects complete and we are getting quite a bit done. And now uh, let's just keep rolling through and uh, finishing these missions and then kind of see where we end up uh, at the end of this. So going to the Overgrown Ruins, we do need these uh, Villager Masks. Um, those are some big things that we needed. And then I think the other big thing that we needed um, was the monster scales. Yeah, so we need shrine relics. We need villager masks. And we need monster scales. Oh, we hit level 14. Let's go. Oh my goodness. All right, so that means we... I Actually, that means we can upgrade like our weapons more because we just hit that level 14. Um, let's see if we can find a few more villagers because I don't think we got enough um, of the villager masks. So I want to see if I can try to find a few more villagers before we actually back out of this raid. Oh, here we go. We got some more villager cages here. Nice. Nice. All right, that should be a good amount. Let's head back and see what we get from this. We do get the level up, which is perfect. We did get 30 villager shards. Nice, new projects and our printer upgrade. Beautiful, all right, hunt toxic saplings. Perfect, we did not, oh wow, we did not get enough uh, villager masks. We need like 70 more of those, but we can uh, upgrade a lot of our weapons here. Uh, and I have a feeling a lot of, yeah, angry cave dead end i don't even think i have that yet oh boy um okay we must have dead end oh dead end's one of the raids yes we do have dead end all right so dead end is one of the first raids that you get and we are gonna try this on hard and let's see if we can beat this so this is on hard um so we did easy uh of course there's uh three rarities or three difficulties i should say to each of the uh raid levels and right now this is a hard one so we'll see if we can come out on top i don't know if we are actually appropriately leveled for this um but hey you know what we are gonna find out together and see if we can take this down this level five juggler is gonna be quite a frustrating opponent oh looks like one of the uh bots that we're playing with has already gone down um Looks like they're back up and running, though. See if we can get a lot of damage here. Get the smart fireworks going through. All right, nice. That has been defeated. Let's get this jumper taken down. Nice. All right. Take this little grunt down. All right, and let's keep moving forward. Oh, we got another jumper rolling through here. Let's get some good damage here. I'm gonna come through over here, use our boom box. Nice, we are looking good. All right, let's get the heal up. Let's get our increased attack speed with this as well. All right, we're gonna get a good amount of progress here. Let's just keep pushing all the way forward up here and then drop our boom box. Get as much value as we can from our gadgets. The name of the game all right we have another little grunt coming up and now we are going to be moving toward the bone crusher this one's going to be oh boy this is going to be a tough one i don't know if we're ready for hard but we're going to try it anyway here we go the bone smasher and let's see if we can take him down see how much of a nuisance he will be to us uh, looks like we're getting a little bit of damage so far. It looks like one of the uh, bots has gotten taken down. Oh boy, this is not looking good. All right, let's get another uh, increased attack speed moving through. This is going to be quite a bit of damage. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's jumping over here. All right, let's get out of the way of that. Okay, beautiful. All right, let's heal up. He's going to start charging through. 
Uh, I need to get out of this because if I get hit by that, I will likely die. Uh, oh my goodness, this is quite a bit of damage that we are taking here. Let's, oh my goodness, the Bone Smasher, he is smashing our bones. He does what he says. All right. Get our pill. Oh, nope. I got to get out of the way of this. That's going to be a lot of damage. All right, sweet. Stash back in. And we get the takedown. Boom. We complete it in three minutes. Ooh, we have to complete that in under two minutes is one of the quests. That is going to be a hard one. We do get a new outfit, though. What is our new outfit going to be? All right. So we do get those challenges done. And here's the new outfit. The Iron Spartan look. Ooh, this is kind of clean. I like this. Keep this one on. Yeah. All right, let's head into the spirit caverns with our uh, other uh, kit. Ooh, we have to help the spirit. Oh, will just get that heal down immediately to counteract that. And the bone smasher goes down. There it is. All right, now we just need to find one more charger. All right, sweet. Oh, here we go. There's a charger. Oh, we got in range just in time. Let's go. That was so clutch. All right, let's stun this jumper so that we can get him out of the way. And let's get the heals up, knock everybody back. All right, sweet. All right, we are good to go. All right, let's clear out and see what we got here. Got a good amount of resources. I don't think we got anything upgrade. Yeah, we didn't get anything to upgrade, but we are making progress uh, towards that, which is fantastic. But, oh, Man, out of, out of the gameplay you have seen so far, which of these five are your favorite weapons that you've seen from other creators as well? Is it the Monster Slugger? Is it the Techno Fist? Is it the Wolf Sick, which summons the pet? Is it the Medicine Ball, which heals you up? Or is it the Portable Portal, which does an AoE damage um, for combos and everything like that? But Man, I got to tell you, Moco is super fun to play. If you guys want your chance to sign up for the beta that is going to be happening towards the end of October, make sure you hit that link in the description below. And let me know down in the comment section if you are excited for Moco.